Hello, Nomads Kalbt, and this video is about object positioning, alignment, aligning, snapping, and so on, and how to position your objects on the other object. Okay, so first, Nomads Kalbt has no uh, grid snapping option, so you can't uh, snap at the moment to uh, something like a grid here or at the moment it's uh, also not possible to snap on uh, uh, on such a mesh vertice and so the only thing you have is um, a, a surface snapping to a whole surface or here and the other thing is you have um, you have um, an option here you see your gizmo and this is um, something like an anchor point so first um, a few basics so later i show you how to place the sphere exactly on the center of the pyramid so but first the basics so at the left side here is a pivot option. So here this is your your anchor. So and you're free to position this um, pivot. So then leave this option and now your gizmo is here. And when you bring in a new object here, add. So here are your primitives. And here at the top, there's an on gizmo option. So select this checkbox. So and now when I want on this position here, when I want a, a box, checkbox and press box. So the, the box is created exactly on this position here. So. So and now I can adjust my, my box in the dimensions, but the position is the gizmo position of the other object here. Um, so it's centered. Okay. So and this pivot position you can always uh, reset here are the reset options to the center and you can adjust it by tapping with your finger on on the position you want so here here so you can also position it to other objects like this or here like you want or here so and back resets it. So when I want my pivot here, so and I add a new object here, maybe a cylinder, so it places the cylinder at this position. So, so this is a positioning by eye. So if I want um, the pivot ex exactly here um, so yeah it's yeah, it's not exact so I can try to place it like this but it's um, yeah it doesn't work because there's no snapping so but more to this later so okay the next thing is you can use a tool. So here are our tools and there's a insert tool. Don't care about this icon, it's an insert tool. So here on the left side, here are now your um, objects and you can select an object and when you press on the other object, it snaps on the surface of this plane so 
um, yeah so you can create also a box here maybe and it snaps on this surface but you see you can use here the pencil but then the next thing is sorry um, you don't see here through the object anymore and you can see the grid or the snapping where you want so it hides everything so okay and the next tool is the transform tool so when you select the transform tool you see here this small green arrow and this is the the orientation of the gizmo or the pivot so when you change the pivot to the bottom and you use the transform tool then your anchor point is now at this position so and when you pick this object now and place it it snaps to the surface so here's the position before and now it's snapping but there's no grid snapping so only freehand by eye so you can place it also on this object or on the on this surface so yeah this is freehand positioning so and the next thing is here you can use the gizmo tool so maybe i i hide this group here and i choose my world here so here you can pick your gizmo and try to place it on the surface of the plane yeah and you can move it left right and so on So, okay, and now the exact snapping. So, this object here, the sphere, is exactly in the world center. So, when I add something and uh, checkbox off and bring in another sphere, so this sphere is exactly in the world center. So here's the gizmo. Okay, I change a little bit the subdivision and validate this object. So the next thing is a little bit um, yeah uh, complexer. So you see here your anchor point at the, uh, in the middle here of the world. So when you change the pivot to the bottom position. The world center stays here. So here in the gizmo settings, you have here options here. So here you can bring it to the origin like this. And now your pivot with the actual position here, it's possible to bake this position. So you see here the translation and so on and when you bake it it's zero so now the object is yeah reset it um, at the moment so okay and the next thing is you need a, a, a point to snap on so now we use this plane I use the mask tool and I mask the complete plane so make sure that symmetry is off and you have the option to unmask parts so unmask only this position here and now when you select the gizmo your anchor point is snapped to this vertex. So 
And now when you use on gizmo position, um, it's possible to bring in a cylinder at the actual uh, vertex position or gizmo position, so it snaps to this point. So, yeah, or maybe the torus, you can see it better. Here you see um, the, the exact center point is now on this um, position. Okay, so, but how to bring this sphere here to this position? Because there's no, uh, here there's no thing like on gizmo. So um, the sphere have to go on gizmo. <laughs> so, um, okay. So here where your plane is in the hierarchy, add a group. So now the group here is located at this position. And now select the sphere and put it in the group. So, and when you select now the sphere here and use the, the gizmo options, you can press reset. So now it jumps to this position. So, like this. Okay. So, and uh, let's do the thing with the pyramid. So, I make it visible. This one I delete. I put the sphere out of the group here and put it in the group of the pyramid. So, but first I delete everything. So here's my pyramid. How to get the group? So press mask, select the unmask option, unmask this vertex at the top, activate the gizmo, so you see it here. So maybe um, you can also change the rotation of the gizmo, but um, create a group. And now put this sphere in this group, use the matrix, matrix and reset it. Now it's placed on the top of this object. So, okay, and so let's make a last example. Um, so maybe So I create a box, I validate this box, so, and maybe, maybe I want a, um, a cylinder exactly on this position here. So I use the mask, mask everything, use the unmask option and unmask this vertex. So be sure that the symmetry is off. So symmetry off and unmask it again. So now the pivot is in on this position. You have the option here, the um, snapping option. You can rotate the pivot like this. I hope it works. So and add a cylinder. Sorry, on gizmo. So now the 
cylinder is exact on this position where you want it. So you see now the center point is exactly here. So yeah, I think there's more to explain, but I think it's enough for now. So the trick is to mask the object and unmask uh, a single point and and don't forget um, the um, s uh, to turn off the symmetry uh, when you unmask. So yeah, that's it. Have fun with sculpting. Ciao.